Good morning. Welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and it's 541 in the morning. Lord. But I want to get my haul out for you today and then we're going to make some pork ribs. Um, so this week I spent about $48 at Aldi. A little more than I normally do but I got some things I wanted. So I picked up a pork sausage. I get this all the time for breakfast. It's $1.99. <gasps> I got pork ribs. I think this is what I'm having this week. Now I am going to Kroger later to get some frozen cauliflower and some drinks. So it'll be a little higher this week, but that's okay. Baby back ribs. I got some thick cut bacon and pepperoni. Dozen eggs, 73 cents. I got a can of pumpkin. I'm making some pumpkin cookies to take to work, not keto. I'm obsessed with this wine. It is, it's a Christmas mold wine. It's red wine, and then they add spices to it. Um, I think it's keto friendly. It doesn't say any added sugars. You just want to be careful. I drink, a, you know, just one glass for sure. Uh, pork rinds, duh. I needed some butter. I got extra sharp cheddar, and I got Swiss to cube up for this week. One thing of cream cheese, I do prefer the Philadelphia because it has zero carbs. This has two. And I feel like this used to have one and it went up somehow. So, um, I'm going to start having just buy the other brand, the Philadelphia. I'm kind of sad that they decided to add more carbs to their cream cheese. And some shredded cheddar to cook with. I'm not sure what I'm having for breakfast this week. I might just make an egg bake and have that for breakfast. So that's what I bought. And then I'm just going to, I'm not, I, mean, I guess I could show you, but I'm just chopping up um, these ribs and then I'll show you how I season them. All right. I got everybody cut up. Let me turn the light on here. There we go. I've got them all cut up, and if you can see, I just go between the ribs and I make servings. And this is Weber's chicken and rib seasoning, and I just generously douse it in here. This is not the ideal stuff, but it's what I had on hand, so I'll just be careful with the carbs in the rest of my meal. And I put this on low for like 8 to 10 hours, and they are amazing. Now, if you have like a sugar-free barbecue sauce, when you take them out of your crock pot, I don't add any juice or anything. When you take them out, you can throw some barbecue sauce on them and put them under the broiler. And they just taste like barbecued spare ribs. So that's lunches for the week. I'll show you when they're done. Alrighty, now what we're making this moment... Yeah, that's perfect. Is some, some broccoli, or I'm sorry, some cauliflower mac and cheese. Does that make sense? So, this is done. I'm going to dump it off. All that is, is two bags of frozen cauliflower with um, a third of a cup, well, two thirds of a cup of boiling water. I threw the bags in, you put a lid on it, and you just kind of let it do its thing. Now, in here, I've got about a quarter of a block of cream cheese, a couple tablespoons of butter. I'm making my macaroni and cheese, um, cheese for it. And all it's got to do is everything just needs to melt together. And I'm trying to dry off the cauliflower, so I'm just letting it strain over there. This has got to go for just a little bit. Um, I'm going to get the whisk out. I won't make you listen to that, but you really want to whisk this up pretty good. I'm going to put some heavy cream in here once this is melted and then I'm gonna put some cheddar cheese and I'll show you when it's done well I can you can watch me do it I'll speed it up but it's not coming together very good hopefully it will when I add 
add the cheddar cheese in, but we need some heavy cream in here. And that was probably three quarters of a cup. You really just gotta eyeball it so you know how much you need, depending on how much cauliflower you have. I'm gonna put some salt. There was no salt in the cauliflower water, so you would definitely wanna salt it. And you know, I like my pepper, which is okay. There we go. Now all I'm doing really is just getting this warm and then I'm gonna put the cheese in. You can use all different cheese recipes. Oh, these are the cookies that I made for my work. I'm gonna bag them up here in a minute. Put them in the freezer just till Friday. Well, no, today's Sunday. So they're gonna go in the freezer, some of them till Wednesday? No, Thursday. But I'll take it out on Wednesday evening to thaw and take it to work on Thursday. And then the other bag will go out as well the thaw and I will take it to my physical therapist's office on Friday. I talked about it, but you won't see that video till Thursday. So maybe I'll show you in both videos what it's gonna look like once it's all packaged up. But these are um, pumpkin snickerdoodles. I found the recipe on Pinterest. So I'm hoping this is enough cheese sauce. I think it is. Um, but it's got a, it's just gonna melt. And then I'll show you what it looks like when I stick it in the, with the cauliflower. All right, this cheese sauce is melted. And it's not super thick, but you really don't want it super thick. So we're gonna just, ooh, let me just bring you over here so you can see what we're doing. There we go. I'm just gonna pour it over this cheese. Oh, I'm sorry, the cheese over the cauliflower. And um, you can do this with bacon bits. Like you could just add bacon to it. There's all kinds of things you can do. But I'm just making like a cheesy, almost like a mac and cheese to go with my ribs, but it's cheesy cauliflower that will go with my ribs. I could bake it if I wanted to, but I'm not gonna. That's it. That was the whole cheesy cauliflower recipe. I do wanna break up a few of these pieces just cause they're kinda big. And I find using the frozen cauliflower just is easier cause I think it's partially cooked already. But yeah, there we go. I'll show you when I plate it. I gotta figure out breakfast next. Alrighty, I've got this pan. It's just a round cake pan, really. And if you can see, I sprayed it with some oil. I did go ahead and drain the um, excess grease. This sausage has, a, you know, a lot of grease. And I don't want it floating about, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, this is going to be a very meat-heavy, it's really a crush, crustless quiche or... If you're Italian, it's a frittata. Uh, it could be considered a baked omelet. There's all kinds of things. My, <laughs> my uh, cauliflower is cooling off back here. And then I'm gonna put some cheese in it. And this will take probably 40 minutes to bake. Now, I could add all kinds of seasoning, but this sausage that I get from Aldi is so well seasoned. It's zero carb and it just has the best flavor that I don't even have to add salt to this. And I like salt. So right now I just added this cheese to the top there. This is eight eggs with probably a tablespoon of heavy cream just to kind of puff it up to make it more quiche-like. And I'm using a whisk, a glass whisk type deal. And then you're just slowly going to pour it over this. It's going to take a second to sink through all that meat. Um, but like I said, I wanted this more meat than egg this week. So that's why I am doing it this way. And I think I guessed right on the money. 
Yeah, not bad. I will let it sit here for a moment. See how the bubbles that come up? You really want the egg to get to the bottom. So I'm gonna let it sit here. I need to get a pan out. I've already got the oven on 350. But I'll bang it around a little bit. I'll put it on the baking pan, stick it in the oven, and let it bake. I always put things like this on a baking pan. You really want to do that. And then by the time this comes out of the oven, the ribs should be done and cooled so I can portion off my meals. This I'll cut like a cake. Like I'll turn it out once it's fully cooled and cut it like a pie or a cake and have those pieces for lunch for myself. No, breakfast. This is breakfast. <laughs> Lunch is back there. So I'll show you when it comes out of the oven. Alrighty, here is what I did. Here's the bread. This is all Dollar Tree product. The ribbon, the stickers, the pumpkin bread is not. And then here's what I use the loot bags to wrap my cookies up in. And I put a little sign that says pumpkin snickerdoodle. And here's a Dollar Tree gift bag I used. This is going to go in the freezer. And when I'm ready to go, I'll just grab it out of the freezer. And here's the other one. So I'll Dollar Tree all the time, folks. Alrighty, everything is done. That's my egg and sausage and cheese bake. I'm going to cut that up. And then in here we have ribs and my cheesy cauliflower. And that is lunch for the week. And breakfast. So I hope you enjoyed. Have a good one. Bye.